Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving a first impression of the brand new Tom Ford Architecture Foundation. It is a soft matte blurring foundation. I picked mine up from Harrods but this is also available in the US as well. And even though this is a first impression video, I am going to be doing two or three check-ins throughout the day. At the moment it is mid-morning and this just arrived in the post so I thought I would do a video on it. But throughout the afternoon, hopefully I'll be able to give you like I was saying, probably two or three check-ins and just see how this wears. So this is the packaging that it comes in. This has 30 mils of product. It is made in Canada and it has a shelf life of 24 months from date of opening. Now I picked mine up in the shade Ivory Beige because in the Tom Ford shade in Illuminate, which I absolutely love this foundation, this came with me when I went overseas last year to the States. It is gorgeous. I also have this in the shade Ivory Beige as well. So hopefully they are the same. Now I will do not a side by side comparison on my face, but I will pump out this on my hand when we take a look and see what the formula of this new foundation is like. So I'm just going to open it up and we'll take a look. So this is the packaging of it. It is in glass and it is frosted. Has just the pull off lid and there is a pump dispenser. And this foundation is 150 US dollars. I picked mine up at Harrods, but this is also available at Selfridges as well. And there are 40 shades in this collection. So a really good range of shades. They say this is a long wear matte foundation. It says defies convention and perfects the skin for a look of precision blur. So this is supposed to be a blurring foundation. One thing when I had a look at what type of foundation this is. It doesn't really say what type of coverage it gives. The other shade in Illuminate, that gives a very solid medium finish. So it'll be interesting to see what this one is like. It says it has all day oil control, 24 hour wear, it's transfer proof, and it is non-creasing. They also say this is lightweight, and it is, at the beginning they say it's a matte finish, but they go on to say that it's also a soft matte finish. This is supposed to be humidity resistant, and it also maintains a freshly applied feel and finish all day. This foundation is paraben free and sulfate free. When I had a look at the ingredients on the back of the packaging, I couldn't see if there was a fragrance or not, but we'll find out in a minute when I do a pump on the back of my hand. I've already done my skincare and that was a few hours ago early this morning because I usually get up at about half past five in the morning but about 20 minutes ago now I did reapply my sunscreen so at this stage I've got nothing else on my face. So normally with my videos I would put a primer on and I'm going to today just on one side of my face. Those of you that haven't seen my videos before I am 54 years old and I have oily skin. It is now autumn here in New Zealand so we haven't got that humidity like we did a couple of months ago when it was summer but my skin still stays oily throughout the whole year it's just not as oily as when it is in the middle of the summer especially when there's high humidity now for the primer today i am going to use the newly released it's the tom ford shade and illuminate soft radiance primer this has an SPF of 25 in it and I did a dedicated video on this as well as using the new the Christian Louis Vuitton foundation. So I'll pop a link up there if you just want to have a look at this in further detail. Now I'm going to put this on the left side of my face and I'm not going to put any primer on the right side of my face and just see how this foundation wears. So I'm just going to take actually just half a pump of this since I'm only going to put it on the left side of my face. This is a really lovely primer. This is a radiant primer though. This isn't a mattifying primer at all, but it does give a really beautiful base to foundation. And I do use primers like this, even though I do have oily skin, especially when I use foundations that are more matte and soft matte. So. I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll put this new Tom Ford foundation on. So let's take a look and see what this foundation is like. I'm going to start off by using just one pump. I have given this a good shake as well. So that is one pump and it is quite runny. I'm just going to grab the Tom Ford the shade and illuminate and just 
put a pump of that on the other side of my hand and the texture is really the same and it looks like the shade is the same too i mean i know they're both 5.6 ivory beige but you never know when they release a new foundation but it does look like this shade for the new foundation is going to be perfect now i'm going to put this on today using a brush this is one of the new raffa brushes that was gifted to me this is number b02 and this was a range of three brushes and they're synthetic ones and they specifically made them for cream and liquid makeup. Now I just wipe the shade and illuminate foundation off my hand because I want to make sure that I'm using the right foundation, the new one, the Tom Ford Architecture one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dot some on my face and then blend it in with the brush. I'll do the left side first, the shade that's got the primer on. It feels quite lightweight and it does have a scent but more like just a foundation scent, makeup scent. I don't think there is any added fragrance in this. So I'm just going to put the one layer on first and then once I've done both sides of my face I will add a little bit more just to see how this foundation builds but at the moment just with that one layer it looks like it is uh, the shade and illuminate is a real solid medium foundation and possibly heading towards more full coverage but a, definitely a solid medium whereas this this would be a medium a soft medium I would say light towards medium heading towards more medium and they say it is blurring and I'd have to say that it is doing a really good job with my pores through here because I have oily skin I do have bigger pores through this area through here and it does seem to be doing a really good job of minimizing the pores it's not going to take them away altogether and you wouldn't want to really you don't want to look like a mannequin but if you can get a soft blurring effect that always looks really beautiful and then just what's left on the brush I'm just going to pop that under my eyes as well so I do have a breakout just there and it has slightly covered it although you can still see it so that's why I'm saying instead of maybe a real solid medium this is light towards a, a soft medium it's hard to sort of grade foundations really what I consider to be a light towards medium foundation some might think that's more medium but it does give a really beautiful coverage so that's with the on the left side done and none yet on the side and I've got the primer on this side but no primer on the side here so it'll be interesting to see what it feels like after a few minutes on the side without the primer when I touch it now it hasn't really matted down it's not a hard matte it's exactly what they say it is it is a soft matte although I've probably got a little bit more radiance because of that primer underneath so now I'm just going to put some on the other side blend that through now the sunscreen that I use it's the brand can make and it's either I think it's a Japanese sunscreen and it can be actually used <laughs> just as a primer but I use sunscreen every single day 365 days of the year so I wouldn't do a foundation test without using that because I need to see how it wears with my sunscreen and it is definitely a favorite sunscreen of mine I always have it linked in the description box below I'll be using it for the last three years it is just absolutely gorgeous it's really like skincare more than a sunscreen it's really beautiful and it also has an SPF of 50 as well so I'm just putting what's left on the brush just under my eye and it does give a very soft look to the skin it's really lovely and at the moment it's not settling into if I squint <laughs> into my lines under my eyes or through here it looks really lovely now this coverage for me just like this is really 
perfect i think it is gorgeous i don't mind a bit of my natural skin coming through i actually prefer that so i think the finish is really lovely and i do have a slight sunspot through here so it hasn't completely covered it but it's definitely given this evenness to the skin it feels very lightweight it doesn't feel like a heavy foundation at all i think it looks really lovely now I am going to pump out a little bit more because I use that one pump and I'm just going to put some through here, down here, maybe a little bit over here just to see how this foundation builds. So just grab just a tiny bit more and we'll pop some through here, through the middle here and just a little bit over there as well, a little bit on the chin and we'll just see how this builds. So it does build really beautifully. Now I can't see the sunspot and actually the breakout that I have there, you can hardly see that either. So this is definitely buildable to a solid medium and it's building really beautiful as well. It doesn't start to look cakey or anything like that. And I only put a little tiny pump on there and it's still got quite a bit left, but I really think that's enough. I don't need to do any more building up. So with it all on now, at this stage, I think it looks really, really beautiful. The shade 5.6 is really good for me. I'm pleased that it matched the old shade in Illuminate, the 5.6 in that as well, because it's an expensive foundation and um, I wouldn't really be able to get a return since I'd have to pay for all the postage back to England again at Harrods because this isn't available yet in New Zealand. I imagine it will be at a later date, but it's just not available here yet. But I think the foundation looks really beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll meet you out in our lounge and I'll show you this in natural light and for my other two or three check-ins throughout the day I'll also show those in natural light as well. So I've now got the rest of my makeup on and I've had this foundation on for about, it'll be about half an hour now. So this is what it looks like, hasn't been on very long. And of course this is the side where I've got the primer and no primer on this side. Now I always powder my foundations but I've decided today not to powder it while I'm doing this review for you guys just to see how it wears. And it's quite interesting the side that I've got the Tom Ford, the Radiance Primer underneath definitely feels like I could powder it and on this side the foundation it just feels a little bit more matte now it doesn't feel like a flat matte or anything like that I would give it a light powdering but I can definitely I can see and feel a difference I don't know whether you'll be able to on camera so no primer and with the primer but at the moment I think this foundation looks really beautiful someone will ask what well, do I prefer this over the shade and illuminate and at this stage I don't really know the shade and illuminate gives a beautiful finish as well really the main difference out of the two is with the shade and illuminate that is it's a more heavier coverage so it really depends what sort of coverage that you're after but the finish on them both is just beautiful and like I was saying even though it's not going to take away your pores altogether and you wouldn't want to because as I was saying you don't want to look like a mannequin but I do think it gives a really soft beautiful blurring effect to the skin so what I'll do in a couple of hours I'll do another check-in and I'll do it in here in the lounge because there's lots of all natural light in here I have a huge window in front of me one to the left and one to the right as well it's not a sunny day today it's a little bit overcast but because there's just so much natural light it'll give you a good look at what this foundation looks like so I'll come back in a couple of hours and check in and hopefully I'll be able to do that two or three times throughout the day before I sit down and edit the video and get it up for you guys to watch. So I'm going to go and have some lunch and I'll see you back in a couple of hours. So it's now been a couple of hours since I last saw you and I think the foundation is wearing really well at this stage. 
for me it's a little bit shiny and as I was saying earlier normally I would powder a foundation but I just want you to see what it's like unpowdered so this is the side where I had the primer and I'm just feeling it compared to the side so this side that has that radiance primer underneath it definitely feels I would love to be able to powder it <laughs> that's sort of how it feels but in saying that it does have a beautiful glow to it and from what I can see it's not settling into any of my lines and it's wearing really well and on this side we haven't got any primer underneath it still feels really good could have just a light powdering but if you didn't want to powder it you certainly wouldn't you wouldn't have to I think it's looking really lovely so I'll check back in in another couple of hours maybe two or three hours and see how it's wearing then it's just after five o'clock in the afternoon and I thought I'd do the last video in the lounge here in natural light because in another half hour or so it's going to start getting <laughs> getting darker so this is how the foundation looks and it is a, a little bit shiny it's not excessively shiny though and that's to be expected considering that I didn't powder it it's not settling into any fine lines or anything like that and I still think it looks really beautiful I'm just having a look in the monitor here to see how it looks and I think it looks really lovely it's a really lovely foundation now I will do one final check-in but that'll be in my beauty room because it'll be too dark to do that in the natural light and also give you my final thoughts so I'll probably edit what I've done so far and I'll leave the final check-in for as long as I can so as I say it's just after five o'clock now in the afternoon and I'll let you know the time when I do the final check-in so it is now eight o'clock in the evening so I've been wearing this foundation for a solid nine hours probably around about nine and a half hours I still haven't powdered over the top of this foundation even though I have been dying to all day but I think it looks really good so I'm just having a really good look at it now just to see whether it's creasing or settling into the lines under my eyes there and it looks really good possibly a little bit just in through by the nose here but not really visible to anyone else and I don't think it's worn off at all so although I'm not obviously going to wear it for the 24 hours but for a solid nine hours it hasn't worn at all it's a little bit shiny it actually looks quite pretty and a bit of a glow so I think it looks really lovely and even though it looks a little bit shiny it doesn't look greasy it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it looks still really skin like I think it is a really beautiful finish now what I didn't show you for the foundation at the beginning of the video is the Tom Ford the Traceless Soft Matte one and I have this in 5.6 Ivory Beige as well and I think this one I may be wrong but I think this is the one that is being discontinued so it's possibly the Tom Ford Architecture one that is replacing this one here now out of the two finishes I would say they're similar this always had a, was a little bit lighter than the shade in Illuminate so this had that soft medium finish as well I think I prefer the finish of this one more to the Tom Ford Traceless Matte because between the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate and the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte it was always this one that I sort of always went to instead of this one whereas now between the two I think both are really beautiful if I felt like it was a day where I wanted more coverage then I would probably choose the shade and illuminate this one gives I would say a more natural finish only because it hasn't got such a strong finish as the shade and illuminate but both are just really beautiful and I do like the new Tom Ford architecture more than the Tom Ford the traceless matte one I mean this is still a lovely foundation but I think this just has a little bit more of a perfecting finish and bit more blurring than this one as well and as I was saying I think 
this one is probably replacing this foundation. But overall, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do now is I am going to powder a little bit over the top because it hasn't worn at all. And if I was going out for the night, all I've done with my makeup is just replace my lipstick throughout the day and I reapplied it again just before starting this video. But if I was going out for the night, really what I'd do is just give it a powder. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna use the Chanel, the Natural Finish Loose Powder. I'm going to just use a light brush. This is the BK Beauty one. This is the 102. It's a very soft brush, this one and just put a little bit of powder in the lid and I'm just going to go over it now and just take away just just that excess shine that I've got and now the foundation looks well it looks absolutely gorgeous and even though I've had it on for a solid nine hours it really looks like I've just applied it. And of course it really looks beautiful now that I've put some powder over the top as well. But it's not one where if I was going out, I think oh, I'll put a little bit more foundation on the back of my hand and just add a little bit more foundation through here if it had worn a little bit. And I wouldn't need to because it, like I was saying, it just hasn't worn at all. So it is very long wearing. Now, I don't know whether it is transfer resistant, as they say, although I've been wearing this shirt all day and there isn't any foundation that's transferred to my collar because for some reason, when I wear shirts with uh, my makeup, I don't know quite what I do, but there's always a little bit of makeup that sort of transfers to the corners here and there's absolutely no makeup on here whatsoever. But whether it is actually transfer resistant I'm not sure but it definitely hasn't transferred throughout the nine hours that I've been wearing it so overall I think this is a really beautiful foundation it is more on the pricier side as is typical with Tom Ford products but in my opinion I think it is worth it I think it's a really beautiful foundation it is gorgeous on my mature skin it just gives this very soft gorgeous look and it just looks extra gorgeous now that I've just given it that light powder. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.